spill water, if Oklahoma State head basketball coach Mike Boynton knew my angle here, knew why I was drilling on the TCU game and asking about the future, he might not have been quite as cooperative. Boynton is not whiner, not a coach willing to sacrifice the next four minutes until the next media timeout, not a coach that looks at close losses as moral victories. He is smart enough to know that hardship and the fighting spirit to battle it in this 2018-19 season can have a positive impact on the 2019-20 and stories told, experience relayed can help players that aren't yet on campus and won't be donning an orange and black uniform when Osu or Cowboys on it this weekend. Simply put, we are a product of our past. What happens, whether it is good, bad, humbling, triumphant, or trying will shape today, tomorrow, the next day, and the next year, heading to Kansas on Saturday, Oklahoma State has lost five conference games in a row. They have a win over South Carolina in the Big 12, SEC Challenge. It was a good win with a strong effort throughout the 40 minutes. The losses have ranged from close like Baylor and at Iowa State to ugly last Saturday with Kansas State to downright heartbreaking like TCU on Wednesday. That 70-68 loss to TCU, kind of a microcosm of the last several weeks. It started out somewhat not acceptable as Boynton used an early timeout to let his team, which at this point after the four departures in January and the injury to freshman forward Duncan Demet that is limiting his playing time, is down to six players. Minute totals in excess of 35 are common for the starters, so when the intensity and effort is not present, then Boynton is going to let them know. The head coach knows the hardships, knows it can wear his guys down, but also knows he gives them a chance to get their legs back and refresh. He expects effort and I asked him how much he examines effort when he watches in reviews game video. I have a pretty good feel on effort during the game, Boynton said knowing we were asking about the early portion of that TCU game on Wednesday. With video, I go back and really try to study where the breakdowns were, why the execution wasn't so good, where the communication broke down, more the nuance kind of things that you can't see every possession. The effort is pretty evident during the flow of the game. Early on, it was not all there against TCU and you could see it and it looked like the second media timeout of the first half that the message was being delivered. Again, there are so many more things to consider when managing the games now, Boynton started in reference to that one timeout. I didn't feel like we got off to a great start and I didn't think we had that edge we needed to on the road to have a chance. They, TCU, are a good team and they were going to come out hungry and ready to compete and we just weren't crisp, more so defensively as evidenced by their 9 threes in the first half, five of which from a guy you talked about for the past two days of being a great catch-and-shoot shooter like Desmond Bain then you have guys that aren't in the right frame of mind coming into the game, so, here is the moral to my story here. The group of point guard Isaac Lake Akele, shooter Thomas Giagua, reliable Lindy Waters 3, valuable Cam McGriff rapidly developing Urine, and current sixth man Curtis Jones need to all benefit from these events, these hardships. Oklahoma State fought back hard on Wednesday night in Fort Worth. They took the lead in the second half and defended a stretch of over four minutes holding the Frogs scoreless. In the end, it was the Cowboys that struggled scoring getting a game-tying three-pointer from Giagua as their only points in the final two minutes. It hurt when Cam McGriff fouled out. Yorane, missing those two fingers on his right hand, could not control a ball off a missed free throw from going out of bounds and TCU came back with a three-pointer to aid in their comeback. In the end, Ane was guarding J.D. Miller when he hit the game winner and he could not have defended any better. No moral victories, but a team hardened by adversity and with some talented young reinforcements on the way will benefit, there is a duality to this at all times, Boynton said of what this team is going through. There is what is happening right now to this team how we go about our work preparing for the game tomorrow, Kansas, and there is what we do to improve to this program for 5, 10, 15 years down the line for as long as we are here and able to do it. 
I am always conscious of what is the next thing that has to be done and recruiting is always the number one thing on that list, okay, so that isn't exactly the answer we were going for, but Boynton has a point and the word was he was going out in Kansas tonight to watch a recruit. It could be Grant Shurfield at Sunrise Christian in Wichita, Kansas.